Hey guys, how's it going? Straight Six here. I um, just wanted to do a very quick tutorial on how to get connected to the new hardcore server. Um, it's pretty simple, but we'll go through it together real quick just to make sure that everyone's all up to page. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be navigating to your actual, um, you know, Tarkov installation for you know whichever it just needs to be on the newest the the newest version of the jet launcher or the jet client okay um, once we have that good then you're going to go ahead and go into the client we're going to scroll down to your launcher.config.json we're going to go ahead and edit that with whatever you know text editor that you guys use um, personally i'm just going to use notepad for this tutorial but i'd like to use vs code a lot um, so we're going to go ahead and open it there okay the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fill in um, we're going to be replacing the um, local IP here with your the public IP for the server. If you guys need to, um, please just go ahead and pause the video here, write down the public IP address and the port number um, that we're using, um, and then you're going to just go ahead and hit save. Okay. Um, once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close this out for now. Um, then you're just going to go ahead and launch the jetlauncher.exe okay um, that should automatically connect to the server and as you guys can see there's no server running as of right now it's the actual dedicated server that you're connecting to okay um, from there you're just going to go ahead and hit um, connect now I already have a couple profiles and everything set up but I'm going to go ahead and create a new one for today's you know tutorial okay um, so you're just going to go ahead and create profile there is only one edition of the game that we currently have set up on the server as of right now, so just go ahead and choose that. Um, email could be anything that you'd like guys want for like right now. Um, now this is all subject to change because we are going to be setting this up through the website as well. Um, so um, there will be a wipe coming soon. Okay, that's just something to consider. This is mainly just for. You guys get in there, start playing around with this, start figuring it out. It's essentially just Tarkov, but just hardcore, okay? Um, and we'll go over kind of some of the things that is the changes once we get in there, okay? Um, so, let's just go ahead and put, I don't know, tutorial, okay? And we'll just do the same thing for um, the password as well. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and hit register. Um, oh, you know what? It's, okay, create profile. I did this video a few times, guys. So bear with me. I'll do that. Uh, test. There we go. So you can see that it just registered the the new email that I have here uh, or user. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and hit login on that. Um, now, we are not going to click start game here, guys. We're not going to click start game um, because the jet launcher only connects to local servers, but we want to go ahead and hit this generate launch arguments on the right-hand side here, okay? And we're just going to go ahead and copy those real quick, okay? We're going to need them for later, all right? Um, so next thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and right-click on your escape from Tarkov.exe go down to create shortcut and then I'll just rename this real quick to tutorial for server you can name it whatever you'd like um, right click it we're gonna go to properties okay and then at the end of this right here okay um, we're just gonna go ahead and paste in your target okay um, except you see how it how it has the private IP address we need to change that to the public that we used before, okay? So we're just going to go ahead and change this here to the public IP address and hit apply, okay? And then hit okay. It's that simple, guys, okay? Um, we can actually close out of our launcher now. And now we should just have a shortcut here that when we double click, it should automatically now, I have a Melon Loader installed. This will work for your client that does not have Melon Loader installed. So bear, bear that in mind, okay? Um, but it should automatically connect. Um, give it a moment. 
and then uh, once we get in game, I'll kind of give you a brief rundown of some of the changes that we've made um, to make it hardcore. Okay. But yeah, guys, this is a uh, this is really exciting for me because. Um, it is a way for us to kind of bring the community get together for an event um, while we're working on getting some bigger projects up and going and things like that. So I'm really excited to bring this to you guys and I really hope that you guys enjoy it. Uh, but as you can see, it's already connecting to the server. Um, there's no like server running on my local machine right now, which is kind of nice. Um, it's less resources, not that the server took up a lot of resources, but it is less resources on your computer, um, which means that from my experience, I do have a, an older computer, um, and I've noticed that my computer tends to run slightly better. Um, not a whole lot, given that, but um, but we'll go, go ahead and let this load here, and it shouldn't take too much longer. And this is going to vary based on your guys' you know, computers, of course. Um, but as you can see, I'm connected. Brand new account. Um, we'll just name this tutorial. Okay. All right. And then um, from here, you can choose either bearer or USIC. Doesn't really matter. Both of them are identical as far as like inventory goes. Um, and go ahead and hit next. This is running on 12.8 as of right now, guys. 12.89767, okay? Um, so that being said, like, you're not gonna get all the new content from 12.9. It is something that we are working on, but this server, we want it to be very stable and working properly. There is a couple bugs that's happening, but nothing that we are not working on and trying to get resolved from you guys, okay? But as you can see, we're already in. Now, first question is, what do I get when, for my first starting inventory, right? And that is nothing. It's a hardcore server, you have to start out with nothing, okay? So your first raid is literally just gonna be a hatchet run, okay? Um, and if you die, okay, what happens when you die is that it will reset your level, your quests, your, um, it'll reset all your health to, to max, okay? So it's gonna put all your health back to normal, okay? Um, it will reset all of your skills, okay? As well as the pro progress within those skills. Um, it will basically refresh your entire character, okay? Back to level one, zero experience, okay? Just as if you just started the game, okay? Except, your um, stash will stay the same, okay? So you will keep your items from previous characters, okay? Or previous, you know, before uh, before your previous deaths, right? Um, or after. But that's really cool. It basically means that you have a shared inventory between all your different, you know, uh, PMCs. Cool? Um, and uh, the there were some changes to the um, the traders, okay? As you can see here, um, it just says that all of the items have been sold for all your stuff that you typically can buy, okay? So it is only barter items, okay? You can only barter with these traders. Now, there is a bug right now that is very prominent, okay, and there's gonna be a ton of you that make this mistake, but before you make any barter trades with any of the traders, okay, make sure that you have um, at least one currency for what they use, okay? So I know proper he uses rubles, okay? So I would need at least one ruble in my wallet right in order to make a barter trade if not it will remove the item from your inventory and then you'll get an error that displays on screen and then it will delete your it'll delete the item out of your inventory but not give you the item in return okay so that's just a bug right now we are working on getting that resolved but i wanted to let you guys all know about it because it is something that people are going to make a mistake on if it happens not a huge problem just 
restart the client real quick, log back in, you will lose the item out of your inventory, but lesson learned, okay? So please guys, don't hit up the chat all the time about this specific bug. I'm, let, I'm warning you guys about it right now, okay? Um, cool. That being said, um, there is the normal jet bugs that happen every once in a while that we are trying to get resolved for the server for you guys, okay? We all know what those bugs are. I'm not gonna go into detail on those, okay? Um, tasks are, of course, working, so you can continue to do your tasks, okay? We will be adding quest um, items to the loot tables on all the maps, okay? So that way you guys can get get quest items you know that way okay that is something that we are slowly working on and if you guys notice any issues with a, a specific quest item let me know and i will go ahead and get that added to the list okay um but other than that guys that's pretty much it um we will be having a leaderboard on this okay um so how the leaderboard is going to work is that each task that you do in a game for your specific PMC, okay? Be it levels, uh, kills, quest completion, um, all sorts of stats, right? Are all going to add up to an overall score for your character, okay? Now, going into a raid, right? At a higher difficulty level will result in, a, in getting higher points for let's say kills and things like that, okay? Um, the reason for that is that it's a risk versus reward. So you're putting in the risk, we want to reward you with a higher score point for getting a kill on a higher difficulty, if that makes sense, okay? Now, keeping in mind, if you die on your character, you will be reset to the bottom of that leaderboard, okay? So it's, it's a way for you to, this is a survival league, okay? It's not about being chat and running around and killing everything, okay? Don't get me wrong, you can do that if you want to. Just be aware if you die, you will be reset in the leaderboard, okay? Now, at the end of the month, um, the top 10 players on that scoreboard will get a chance at a roll for a random Steam game, okay? Um, and only one person's gonna win that, okay? So, it's pretty cool. I'm excited about the event. I'm really cool, like really excited to get in there and start fucking playing and, and collaborating with you guys. Uh, a couple things that we are going to be working on soon, um, but what is still in the works is that we are gonna try and fix fence to where it actually works between all all the accounts on the server. So that way it's kind of like a pseudo trading system in a way for you guys to like sell something to fence and then somebody else can buy your item from fence, cool? Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, that's how you guys get connected to the server. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, please don't have, don't hesitate to reach out to any one of our staff, um, for support as well as, you know, of course, using our support ticket system. So that way we can get you guys, you know, into the server and, you know, having some fun. Um, feel free to collaborate in the hardcore server section of our Discord um, that we got set up. Um, you know, post videos of like what you guys are doing in there. You know, what kind of loot, po post images of what kind of loot you guys are getting. Um, let's, let's have some fun with this this month, guys. Uh, let's start 2021 off on a really solid note and just really start having some fun with Tarkov, man. Like, I, I'm really excited about this. Please give me feedback on what you guys think. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks thanks so much, guys. Uh, I'll catch you. I'll, I'm always in voice chat as well, guys. So if you guys have any questions or anything, you know, you guys are welcome to reach out to me. Um, now, I would, there, of course, as part of our rules, I am super busy working on development work. So feel free to, you know, use your resources, right? Go through the chain. So, you know, reach out, do a ticket first in our Discord, then hit up our staff, and if, you know, if all else fails, of course, hit me up, right? Um, but, uh, but yeah, thanks again, thanks again, guys. You have a wonderful rest of your day. Happy New Year, and uh, I'll see you guys in, in, some, uh, in some raids. Later, guys.